Hello everyone, this is John, and welcome back to the Fat Hitler channel for day 19 of the Advent Beer Calendar. We are starting the third and final leg of this journey, and today we're trying a beer from the Emancipation Brewing Company, whose website is Emancipation Brewing Co. Com. They are out of a town known as Fairbury, Illinois. If you've never heard of Fairbury, Fairbury, Illinois, I would not be surprised. It's pretty much out in the middle of nothing. If um, you were traveling south on 55 and you passed up the small town of Pontiac, you would take that exit and drive basically straight into the corn for another 20 minutes. And you'd find yourself in Fairbury, Illinois, where you'd be surrounded by miles and miles of corn or soybeans. You'd find an old dairy farm that was re refitted into a brewery and that's where you find this company Emancipation Brewery Brewing Company and they would be serving beers like this but they wouldn't have brewed this there because according to this can this was actually brewed in Normal, Illinois by Distill Brewery 4 and can for the Emancipation Brewing Company so you didn't even make your beer there. You hired another brewery to make a beer and put their your label on your beer. Anyway, this is called Tradition. It is a double hoppy red ale, and it comes in at 7.5% alcohol by volume. I will say, even though it is out in the middle of nowhere, it's a very nice website. The pictures make the place look beautiful, so I'm sure if you lived anywhere near here, this would be the place to be. It also has a uh, pizza restaurant inside of it. The owners of the brewery also own the pizza place. And it's in the same building. They own one building and two businesses in the same building. I guess so you can still sell pizza without having to associate it with the brewery. Anyway, this is using um, Chinook hops, which are grown in Illinois. Um, they're, I'm not sure where in Illinois they got it from. It just says Illinois grown Chinook. Uh, if you look at the pictures, they do grow hops on their farm area around the brewery. Uh, it didn't look like a huge um, hop farm, so maybe only like specific beers use their own hops, or maybe they're just starting to grow their own hops. Who knows? But tradition, you see, there's trees, boots, gloves, and a saw. And there's a little story here basically saying how their favorite tradition was going and sawing down a Christmas tree every year. I've never actually gone and sawed down my own Christmas tree. I've gone to Christmas tree farms and picked one out, but I've never sawed down my own one and had to like drag it through the snow to the car and string it up. Um, it does say to tag them on social media and let them know your favorite holiday traditions. Um, well, I'm not going to go on social media and tag you, but I will tell everyone who's watching some of my favorite holiday traditions. Growing up, we used to always take the Christmas tree and the decorations out literally the day after Thanksgiving. And there was a certain ornament that I think I was in first grade, maybe kindergarten when I made it, and it looked like a little Santa head and it had like a little slot in the back 
little piece of paper that I wrote a holiday greeting on. And every year before I put it up, I take it out, and I'll look at it, and I would read it. I'll put it back on the tree. I don't know where that thing is anymore. But, now that I have my own home, my own tree, we've been making it a holiday tradition that every year we add one ornament to the tree that was somehow meaningful for that year or a specific event that happened that year. Um, this year I have this one right here. You can't see it's a circle. You can kind of see two faces over there. And this is the new ornament for this year. It says Merry Christmas. There's a picture of both my, my boys. Five year old, two year old. But two year old is almost three. And this is the first year that they both had school pictures. So these are both their school pictures. Put on a ornament. Anyway, that's probably the biggest holiday tradition that I can think of right now. Let's open this beer up and try it. It says a, hop, a hoppy red ale, a double hoppy red ale. And Chinook hops are supposed to taste piney, which kind of goes along with the Christmas tree aspect of this. Um, and Chinook hops are actually pretty big and they look like kind of like small pine cones. It's definitely pouring in a coppery red color. There you go. It's pretty see-through and it's also pretty. Let's take a picture. There we go. Let's taste it. Very hoppy on the nose. Almost smells like an IPA. Let's taste it. Very strong hop malt back and forth the crisscrossing. Everything is very fresh about it. Mm. Definitely piney. Definitely a double hop. It's very hoppy. But it has like a good malt backbone to it. That one is enjoyable. Tradition Double Hoppy Red Ale from Emancipation Brewery. We do have the, the Lodi's emblem on there for the. Lodi's Advent Calendar. There's some words in here that's too small for me to read. Anyway, pretty good stuff. If I do say so myself, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. See you on the next one. Goodbye.